hey you guys it's your girl simona welcome back to my channel so as y'all can see by the title today here's another story time and as promised this is another this is a story time about toxic y'all i've been getting some dms like can we get into toxic we're gonna get into her y'all me and her was friends for years when i say years i mean over 10 like we was friends for a long time so before i get into like it's, it's just gonna be it's a lot it's a lot so let's go ahead and get started let me get comfortable i like to just cross fold my legs and stuff anyway so let's go so let's get straight into the story and before we do so y'all already know what to do if you're not already doing so make sure you subscribe to my channel give a girl a thumbs up and comment down below so this story takes place back a long time ago y'all like back in jerking days if you from la you know the whole jerking era and all that shit like with the whole clicks and all that shit like that so yeah so I was in high school at the time. And at this time I was living in Rialto. So it was like, ugh. if you're from LA, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. People would put on Facebook, like where everybody meeting up for the weekend. So everybody would go like to the mall and it would be just a whole bunch of teenagers at the mall and shit. So this weekend we was, everybody was going to the Lamo. So I'm like, okay, cool. So we was gonna catch the bus to the Lamo. My mom said I could come out there and um, yeah, it was cool. So I went to LA to my grandma's house for the weekend so that I could go. And yeah, so me and um, it was me, Toxic, and another friend. I'm going to just say my homegirl. She really don't need a name. So it was me, Toxic, and my other friend. We all went. We was going to go. So we all getting ready, you know, getting everybody. Remember back then, everybody was wearing like benches type clothes and everybody. It was just a cute air. Like, I, I miss it, y'all. I miss it. Anyway. So we was getting ready to go. So before we was getting ready to go, it was this boy that I have been talking to on Facebook or whatever. So we're going to call him CEO. And we're going to call him CEO because he was just like everywhere. This nigga would say he's people managers. He was in like them there. Every jerk and click. Like he was just doing the most. Like he was, he was posted. He was supposed, he was popular. He was like a lot of people known him. He was like, you know, he was somebody. So we're gonna call him CEO. So me and CEO had never linked ever. Like we would just always talk back and forth. And he actually was from Action Figures. If y'all know, y'all know. So he was from Action Figures, but he also had his own little clique on the side. And I was from his little clique. And it's crazy because I don't remember what that shit was called. But yeah, I was from his little clique that he had. But we was like talking, you know, getting to know each other on some like, maybe you could be my boo type shit or whatever. So, but we had never linked up because again, I lived in Rialto at the time. So I told him like, hey, I'm going to be in LA this weekend. I'm going to the Delamo. Like I'm going to meet up. Boom. So he like, all right, cool. So I'm telling, I, of course, Toxic knew like, because that's my girl. Like, of course, so I'm telling her like, yeah, I talked to this boy, blah, blah. She didn't know him. And she really would go. She would go to like little events and stuff like that. But she like, she knew of him, but she didn't know him. They didn't even have each other as friends or whatever like that. Just remember me saying this. Okay. So yeah. So I was telling my other homegirl and she kind of knew him, not really either. So we go, we catch the bus, we end up getting there. And it's everybody, y'all. It'd be everybody. You see niggas in skinny jeans. It'd be like dance sessions going on, people recording and shit for YouTube. Like it was just such a vibe, y'all. When I tell y'all, I used to be in love with niggas who dance. Like I used to be like, yes, pin drop for me, daddy. Oh my God. Like it was just a, it was a vibe. So anyway, everybody there, it's a million fucking teenagers, security on our ass and shit. So, you know, you really, we there, but of course they trying to kick us out and shit like they can't walk in big groups anyway like that. So when we get there, she like, um, oh, where's CEO at? So I'm like, I don't know where he at. Cause mind you, if back then, or even when you, would, whenever, like we talking on Facebook, but it was never nothing serious. Like, I mean, it was could have got there, but that's just like whatever, but y'all know if you know then you know everybody that's up there all the niggas up there is getting other female aims it's so many people from different high schools different schools and shit like that it's some people come up there boot up and shit but at this point that's not my man's he he's most likely running around this mall meeting a whole bunch of other females like all the other niggas is doing and like females is there to do meet people like you know so i'm not about to be just pressed over him you know so she because if i do i would look a damn fool like so anyway, she's just like, where's CEO at? And I'm just like, I don't know, girl. Like, he probably out, like, I mean, out running around and stuff like that. So she like, oh, okay. Like, you know, all right. So uh, we going to link with him later. I'm like, we see him. We see him. You know, I do. I told him I was going to be here. I plan on seeing him. Like, but we ain't finna just spend all day with him. So she like, all right. So, you know, we just walking around getting niggas aims and shit like that. So this one boy, it was crazy because we was like walking and I seen this boy like he, you know, when you give somebody the look like, 
okay you digging me you digging me and then they come over so it was this boy i'm like oh he is cute i'm like don't look too much and she like who i'm like the boy in the purple skinny jeans like and she looked over she was like oh he is he cute as fuck okay look at them like it was a group of them but i'm like yeah that one oh he fine I'm like i see him looking at me i'm looking at him he, we looking at each other like we period so she toxic like yeah he cute he cute whatever blah 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 so we end up just still smiling back and forth to each other. So him and his homies walking towards us, right? So my homegirl, she like, oh, okay, you know, just talking. We all talking and shit to them or whatever. And one of his homies is trying to talk to Toxic. But while he's trying to talk to me, we're going to call him Mohawk. He don't really even need a name. It doesn't even matter. But he had a Mohawk. So while Mohawk trying to talk to me, here go Toxic over here like, oh, da -da, that's cute. That's your, oh, can I touch your hair? Oh, that's cute. How you get it? Yes, your hair texture. You permed it. This, that, 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 and the third. Oh, where are you from? Where click you? And, like, and I'm just like, Toxic, worry about green skinnies over there because um, purple is mine. Like, <laughs> what the fuck you doing? So they just like, oh, y'all going to Club Heat afterwards? If you know, you know. So I'm like, yeah, we're going to Club Heat. You know, everybody was going to go to Club Heat afterwards or whatever. It's like a little teen club off Jefferson. I believe it was off Jefferson. But yeah, so I'm talking, we talking or whatever. And he was just like, oh, okay, so what's your name? So I'm like, Simone, you know, he tell me he Mohawk or whatever the fuck his name was in real life. But he tell me and shit. And um, yeah, and he was like, can I get your aim? So I was like, all right, like here, like I slid my sidekick up. Like, you know, I don't got my side, I don't got no sidekick, like y'all know. So I slid my sidekick, you know, flip that thing. I had the Tony Hawk LX, but anyway, so I, I, and I'm about to give it to him. And she was just like, oh, do you know CEO? And he was just like, oh, that nigga, he from Action Figures, right? And she like, yeah, he like, oh yeah, I know that nigga, like why? Like, you know, she like, cause that's who she talked to. That's her boo. And he was like, oh, you got a nigga? Like, I'm sorry. I'm like, I don't. Bitch, bitch. So I'm just like, I don't, that's not my nigga. I'm like, he cool. Like, you know, we cool. Mind you, this was, we didn't even talk, like we would aim every now and again. Like this was not my mans. We ne like I said. So she like, gonna do that. And he was like, oh, okay. Cause I'm not trying to step on nobody's toes. If you got a nigga, like, you know, and I'm just like, that's not my boyfriend. He's like, okay, like, all right. And his other homeboy that was talking to my other homegirl, he was like, we seen that nigga over there talking to some other females. I doubt that's her nigga. Like, cause if that's her, but you know what I'm just like, boy, hold up, don't be doing me even though that ain't my boyfriend. But still, like, he was like, yeah, because that nigga, like, you know, he, that nigga popping, like, he be talking to everybody. So I'm just like, okay, y'all doing the most, like, <laughs> y'all. So she was just like, oh, okay. She was like, but if he was to see you talking to him, you think he would feel some type of way? And I'm just like, no, like, why would he feel some type of way? It's not my man's, like, bitch, why is you doing this? So, you know, at this point, I'm just kind of annoyed with her. And I'm just like, the fuck? So, I'm like, here, I'm like, here, put your aim in my phone, period. Put your aim in my phone, purple skinnies, mohawk, whatever your name is. Put it, put it in there. So, he ended up putting his aim in my phone, whatever, and ended up walking away. And I was just like, toxic, like, why did you do that? And she like, do what? I'm like, why did you do that? She was just like, because I don't want it, you to get in trouble. Mind you, any other, it was a whole bunch of different groups of niggas and shit that, that came up to us and we exchanged aims. But all of a sudden, when the cute one come over here trying to talk to me, you gotta, you want to do the most and say, I, I got a boy. Like you're doing, giving weird. It's giving, bitch, you're, it's giving the fuck. Like I was annoyed. So I was just like, yeah, she was like, I'm just saying like, I wouldn't want him to be mad or trying to do some weird shit. Do some weird shit. What bitch? He gonna tell me I gotta leave the public, public place. This ain't his house. This is a whole mall. If he see me talking to somebody else, it is what it is. Like you're not my man's like. So anyway, so she did all of that, whatever. So boom, they got over with. So we walking around and I'm in, I'm aiming CEO too at the same time, but I wasn't doing too much again because I'm not trying to be all like pressed up on you and shit like that. So she, um, so we ended up seeing him, like she spotted him and he was, it was him and his homies and it was at a group of girls. So she was like, oh, there go CEO right there. Like you gonna go over there and talk to him. So I'm like, mm, no, like, you know, if I, I hit him up and tell him like, oh, I see you or whatever. And she's like, we should just go over there. That's weird if you hit him up and say, I see you when you could just walk over there. So I'm like, probably kind of is weird, but I'm just like, I'm just, again, he's talking to females. Why am I finna walk up to him? So I'm like, I'll wait till he done doing what he doing. Like, you know, and he was popular. So it, I, it was never really a time where he's alone. Like it's always people walking up to him. Where's my hug? He was a where's my hug nigga, but he didn't look like a where's my hug nigga, but he most definitely was like, he was thirsty like he had knew he had that fame that attention and all that shit and he was taking advantage of it like he was all the girls on him and yeah so she like oh let's go up over there so i'm just like 
we could go when he done talking to them so she like all right let's just go stand close no like i'm not about to look like some weirdo i'm not gonna look like fucking um a stalker like standing there watching like are you done talking yet are you done are you no i'm not about to do that so i'm like girl i'm gonna look pressed as hell if i go over there and i'm just standing there watching this nigga talk to other girls and i'm waiting for him to be done so i could give him a hug for like I'm, i don't plan on kicking it with him at this mall like that was never the case like you know i told him i, I see you i see you like and she was just like girl so we over there so we walking and we like walking like slowly you know because she like we could at least walk not too far because we was not close, but we wasn't too far. But we, so we walking slowly, walking slowly. At this time, we on the outside part of the mall, like by the movies and all that other shit. So we walking slowly or whatever. And um, she, we standing right there. And we just talking in the groups amongst each other. And the other homegirl ended up seeing somebody she knew, like some girls. So they end up coming over there and we just all talking and shit like that. And she was like, he talking to them for too long. And I'm like, why are you worried? I'm like, that's not my man. So I'm like, it's not that deep. Like, I don't care. So toxic, like staring shot i'm gonna go over there and i just looked at her and just looked away and finished talking to them because i'm just thinking like bitch you're doing too much so toxic end up going over there to him and she was just like hi ceo she was so fucking loud y'all like she was loud to where it was like i felt like you ever know when you talking i was gonna say well, i ain't gonna say that. i was gonna say you ever know when you talking in church and the music stop but no <laughs> y'all know when you somewhere and you know, it's music playing and you talking and then it stop and it just so happened to stop when you say some crazy shit but she didn't say no crazy she just said hi whatever to him but it just seemed like that it just was loud so she like hi ceo and he look and he just like oh hi you know because a lot of people know him but he don't know her they don't know each other but a lot of people know him so if somebody just walk up to him and say hi i'm assuming he's thinking like oh i'm that he really used to have that i'm that nigga vibe everybody know me oh i'm a celebrity hi he was not no celebrity he was just really known so he like oh hi and um he went like this like to give her a hug but he did that with everybody like so he gave her a hug and she just like okay like oh simone right there you know simone right and he was just like oh um oh yeah what's up like hi like what's up and he was like why are you standing over there come over here so i'm just like at this point I walk over there with my um little boots on, has some like combat boots on, y'all, and some fishnets and a pencil skirt. But anyway, I walk over there and I'm just like, um, hey, like gave him a hug or whatever. And she was just like, um, yeah, who is this? Like the girls, cause the girls were still right there. But mind you, he wasn't the girls, he was talking to them about like joining his clique type shit. Like that's why they was talking for so long, I guess. I don't know. I didn't ask, like, but I could see by her asking something more about like, oh some shit i don't know so anyway so he was like um what is it to her yeah so anyway so yeah so she was just like oh who are who are they and he was just like you know all these da 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 blah 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 everybody introducing themselves and she was like oh, okay yeah because i'm simone's friend i'm toxic like you know she didn't that she didn't say i'm toxic but she said her name and he was just like oh, okay okay and she was all like yeah y'all know he fuck with simone and i just started laughing like girl and he just was laughing he was like whoa like we just talking business over here like and, she, and that was so embarrassing because he didn't do like a it was it was kind of like an awkward like no i don't like even though it's like bro now you're making me look like a weirdo because you make me look like i'm claiming this nigga that i i know damn well we're not even talking like so now i look fucking weird because he probably thinking his head like bitch i called you beautiful said good morning a few times said we could click it a few times but i ain't never said i was your nigga like you know so i'm just like girl like girl stop like but i didn't want to be rude and be like bitch i do not talk to him and he'd be thinking like bitch you don't like me like you know so I, it was just a ugh, moment so the girls was just like <laughs> okay like they was like all right you know and then she was just like oh so i'm like toxic you doing too much so i'm, I'm gonna go back over there with my homegirl i'm told him like see y'all see you in a minute um he was just like okay you go to club he afterwards boom i'm like yeah we gonna go so she's like oh who y'all when y'all leaving when y'all leaving we leaving with y'all we're leaving with you and your friends we want to be with the action figures today like doing the most and he was like okay well i'll hit simone and let her know and she was just like what's your aim Bitch, why do you need his aim? Like, I know that I didn't say, like, okay, at this point, at this point, and y'all, just a, just a heads up, remember when I said that toxic and messing with my nigga? This ain't that story, y'all. This ain't that story. Cause I know y'all probably thinking, like, this bitch is a, a whole mess, a whole mess, like I said. Anyway, so she doing the most she like what's your aim or whatever. So she exchanged aims with him and he just being nice, like, you know, like again, like he was just like, 
um a nigga that just knew a whole bunch of fucking females so he exchanged aims with her and shit like that she was like i'm gonna hit you up like we are leaving together so then she was like yeah we should leave with them and i'm like i'm not really caring if we leave with them or if we don't leave with them like the fuck so we ended up running into my cousin like she was there with her homegirls or whatever so i'm like let's all go as a group to the um to club heat and we was all catching the bus there every single one of us if you had a parent that picked you that took you to the mall and picked you up from the mall and took you to the club your parents loved you not saying mine didn't but she was wearing real so she wasn't gonna come do that but anyway so i was just like um whatever so we caught the bus there and y'all back in the day did y'all used to lie like i swear my mom used to be like because again i'll be in la she wearing y'all so so she would be like if you don't have a way home because i'll tell her we catching a bus in the daytime and she was okay with that but she used to be like if you don't have a way home then you cannot go don't go i used to lie like a motherfucker but we have a way home like this person is picking us up this person's lying y'all we i'm gonna get there because it was uh, everything if you knew you knew so anyway we took that long ass bus drive from Torrance to LA on the bus to Club Heat, y'all. Annoying, but the bus rides used to be packed. When I say, cause everybody is going to the same place, all these teenagers. So when I say the bus used to be packed, everybody like this, like we like sardines in a motherfucking can packed on that bus. Like I'm damn near sitting on the bus driver's lap at this point, like we are packed. So just so happened we was on the same bus with CEO um but he was like more in the back and we in the front like pack like that like oh it's this little piece on the bus you know i don't know if you post it where you put something there or something but i was like climbed up and was sitting right there and the bus driver mad he like y'all need to uh uh y'all can't get on the bus but people not caring they still just piling up on the bus because he you know it'd be too many fucking people like is this is not safe y'all so he want to get us the fuck off because it'd be people y'all people just randomly singing songs and saying shit and everybody just going to in or people talking shit about it the bus was cracking y'all like it was it was popping so long ass bus ride uncomfortable packed like a motherfucker so we end up finally getting there or whatever and um club heat y'all when i tell y'all i went in the club heat with a silk press and left out with a fro if you know you know that motherfucking club is it's crazy that name fit that club that shit was hot up in there like if you stand in line it used to be bars like from the window part and you could really see the fucking smoke coming out because that's how hot it was up in that motherfucker like that shit was hot y'all hot sweaty like oh my god so anyway we go up and we finally get up in there or whatever and she just like oh i was aiming ceo he didn't hit me back bitch why are you aiming him so i'm like girl you doing too much i'm like i'm not trying to be just hanging out with him here like you're doing too fucking much and then she was just like oh, i was not like that i'm just saying like he be knowing people we could have got in with him for free or something i'm like i doubt he got in here for free this nigga face ain't no no damn flyer or nothing he paid just like everybody else paid to get up in here like girl like you want people to see you with these niggas so fucking bad because they're known or popping and shit like that it's not that deep take a picture post it on facebook and go on about your life so we get in club he you know it's hot we all up in there dancing fucking it up and shit like that and um we end up seeing purple skinnies again so purple skinnies come over there to me you know when they pull your arm and turn you around you just gotta bend over y'all <laughs> i was just like and y'all let me tell y'all when it came to dancing i was not uh i dance on people but i was not doing it right like i used to be like oh my god uh, y'all it's crazy because my first time ever going to a party i went with my god sister and she's younger than me and she was fucking it up and i'm over here this boy me and him dancing the whole night and he's teaching me how to dance like okay hold on like when you do it like this on me okay like it was it was sad but y'all so anyway anyway i still would go over there and do my shit period the fuck so i'm dancing on purple skinnies and shit like that and i'm like on mohawk whatever i called him so i'm dancing we dance we all fucking it up like hey you know to that old yg when it was popping not saying yg not popping no more but i'm just saying he hit different back in the day so um yeah so i'm dancing on him and stuff like that so i'm holding on the toxic she dancing on his homeboy and then she was just like hey so then she like pulled me like this pull me and then she like turned around and started dancing on purple skinnies at this point i don't care if i'm thinking like purple skinnies just have potential to be future bae but bitch you're doing too much like so i didn't even start dancing on his homeboy because this ain't no switcheroo ass shit i don't want them getting the wrong idea you know young high school niggas probably be thinking crazy shit like oh we gonna flip these bitches like <laughs> not me not me anyway so i'm just like letting her hold on to me and you know they her and my other homegirl jay just dancing whatever boom so we up in there. So next thing you know, I'm like standing there while they holding me and CEO come over there and he just like grabbed me like this and like pulled me away. 
so i'm just like oh okay so he like what's up like what's up with you like talking to me like we close and i'm just like oh so we trying to talk over the music and he like i get my official hug so we like talking we kind of like hugged up and shit and i'm just thinking like okay see oh we up in the club in the middle of the club and you like all on me and shit so you making it now you like talk to me but okay okay but anyway he was a hoe and he could care less he probably he was doing that with several girls that night too but so i shouldn't have felt special but anyway so we over there we talking we kind of like hugged up and i like peeked over to my homegirl not toxic the homegirl and she like smiled on a i see you bitch and i'm just on a you see me so anyway we talking and she like that and he was just like talking and you could just tell he just like you know kept hugging me and shit like that and just was like can i get my dance you know so i danced on him for a little while so then the next thing you know i see toxic like walking over and she looking around and shit like like you know looking for me so she go over there she was like bitch where were you i didn't even know you left i see you like gave him a hug she's acting wild like she's drunk mind you we did not cop no four locos before this club so we are sober like why are you acting like this she doing the most like hey see y'all like hugging him and shit he just like oh what's up and like you could tell he was just kind of like your friend's weird because after a while he was like all right well i'm gonna see you afterwards like do not leave without seeing me before you go so i'm just like all right so she like where are you finna go like pulling him back like you didn't even and starting to dance and shit and he's just laughing he like i'm gonna see you small like, i'm gonna see you and she was like bitch like yeah da, 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 like just talking i'm just like bitch stop trying to dance on my niggas <laughs> niggas with an s seen two of my niggas in the club you know <laughs> and they know about each other anyway them was my my mans but anyway so i was kind of like okay this bitch doing the most so we up in there so it's some other niggas like so back by the pool table if you've been to club he back by the pool table it shit could kind of get a little freaky over there like people be on the flow doing it and doing it like i said or it just be like people smoking shit but it kind of got a little wild by the pool table area so we go over there and it was some niggas they was like smoking it was like drinking and shit like that so she go over there she walk up to this nigga and she was like can i have some and touched his cup so he like kind of pulled back and she was just like and i'm just like come on like i'm pulling her and he was like no y'all could have some y'all could have some and she's like thank you like and i'm she's drinking it because sometimes y'all sometimes in club he mind you it was a teen club but sometimes it will be some grown ass fucking niggas up in there sick right because why are you in a teen club we're all under 18 like why are you here like it'll be grown niggas up in there like or it'll be like some you know and they have like i don't know if the people who owned them on the place knew them or i i really don't know it probably just been some random grown niggas who know so she drinking off that drink she like you want something I'm like no i'm pff, bitch please we have to catch the bus back home well sort of kind of because um the bus be stopped running <laughs> by the time we leave so in certain areas so yeah so i'm just like uh, -uh i don't want none of that drink like i don't know them so we just chilling after that um ceo came over there back over there to me because he seen like at this point i'm thinking oh he jealous because he seen us by some niggas so he came over there and was like oh what's up like to the niggas and shit and he was just like um so what's up he like um okay y'all know my girl put his arm around me and i'm just like my girl you know he doing the most he was just only doing that because he didn't want me to talk to them other niggas but i was gonna talk to him grown ass men like i'm like fucking 16 15 16 years old and they like 20 something i i'm not about to talk to them like because at this point yeah anyway so yeah so we up in there whatever boom so fast forward when it's time for everybody to leave because this is when it was just like uh so i hit him up like oh i'm finna go like whatever so he like meet me by the gas station so it was a i think it was a chevron like across the street the bus stop was over there anyway so he like meet me by the gas station so we go over there by the gas station and he like oh you finna go home so we just chilling we talking or whatever and he was like don't get on the first bus let's get on the second one because the first one's gonna be packed with everybody let's just get on the second bus like are we going that way too so he like oh where y'all finna go like y'all want to come to my house like y'all could come spend night if y'all want to and i'm just like nah because you know i already know oh sorry <laughs> y'all like i said it always happened but i already know what time he time what type of time he was on and i'm not on that type of time like no like the fuck I, so that ain't me so he like y'all trying to come back to my house and i'm just like no nah, i gotta go home like mom come home my grandma gonna be tripping like yeah so here go toxic yeah let's go over there let's go over there like uh-uh let's just go over there she was like i already told 
um my mom i'm staying out like we was supposed to go she was saying like she told her that we was gonna stay at the other homegirl house she was like so i already told her i'll stand out so she wouldn't even know like let's go so i'm like uh-uh like i gotta be home y'all like no i'm not even finna do that my grandparents gonna be tripping and it's like oh do y'all want to come over for a little while and i'm just like no nah, i gotta go home and she like i'ma go if you don't go some more i'ma go bitch what you don't need bitch what so i said what are you gonna go for and she was like because i just want to have fun like i don't want to turn it i don't want to just go home right now like you're not going home you're going to either my house or the homegirl house but the homegirl was like she coming to my house so because she lied and told her parents she had a ride home too but y'all so i'm just like you wasn't going home right now so she like i'm not trying to go home like i'm just trying to go with y'all like is it cool if i come with y'all so ceo like well nah because you're not gonna be the only girl up at my house like you know so and i was all like so basically they need to find another group of females to go home with them like because <laughs> are we not coming and you why would you go by yourself so she like man y'all boring y'all boring so who y'all finna have y'all finna have so she's like oh you just finna have bitches at your house so he just like laughing and shit like that and i'm just like girl you doing the fucking most so anyway everybody talking like his homies end up distracting her shit so we kind of ducked off me and mr i was gonna say me and mr ceo why was i gonna call him that anyway so me and mr but i'm gonna call him that again so me and ceo ducked off somewhere like ducked off not too far away we just like right there so we just talking and shit like kind of like boot up and he just like give me a hug and he just like can i hear my kiss like you know and we just like looking at each other eyes like you know when they about to kiss type shit so we looking like and we like that and he was like gave me a, like i gave him a kiss like a you know like oh like a kiss here comes fucking toxic ah okay y'all kissing and shit and he was just like she is loud and i'm like right so i'm like come on like let's go like let's get a, let's go to the bus stop get on the next bus because at this point this bitch gonna want fucking nerves like i'm ready to go cut she's annoying so i'm just like yeah i'm gonna link with you another time like you know or whatever like that so he like yeah we probably finna go a whole different direction now you know because now they his one of his homies found some females where they was gonna go to their house so i'm just like all right well just hit me like you know just hit me up and she like i want to come like who house who y'all going he like we not even going to my house no more like and she's like who house y'all going to i want to come she like well i'm gonna hit you up ceo because we need to talk like we need to talk okay bro and he was just like laughing i'm just like this bitch is a fucking annoying like so i'm like what do y'all need to talk about because at this point i just kissed him he's my boyfriend now and we're in love and we're gonna plan our future for the next years and maybe have a kid when i turn 19 so girl this is my man now we kiss like <laughs> so bitch ain't none of y'all need to talk about actually delete his aim actually babe block her you know like at this point like after we kiss i fell in love like y'all know that's is y'all like that like y'all fall in love like this or is it just me anyway so <laughs> i'm just like the first time i'm like what do y'all need to talk about and she was just like girl not like that don't nobody want him like it's not like that that ain't even your boyfriend i said okay ain't nobody say he was i'm like but y'all ain't got nothing to talk about the fuck so anyway so they end up going away he like simone i'm gonna hit you up and she's like don't forget to hit me either because i aimed you and you didn't even aim me back and he just was like laughing and like walking off so at this point i'm irritated she's like simone why were you doing that like i was just playing i was just trying to be cool because if you like him that's gonna be my bro and i was like you're doing too much i'm like you don't need to fucking be aiming him for what i'm like you trying to join his little clique or something like the fuck you aiming him for and i y'all y'all probably somebody gonna be like someone you probably was doing the most but no i wasn't because it's like bitch you're doing the fucking most like why you want what i got like you want purple skinnies you want him you who want everybody i fucking got at this point bitch you're being weird so i was just like irritated or whatever y'all and um she got me fucked up that shit was just annoying that's the that's the story but let me tell y'all about the bus situation y'all back then we used to do some fucking dangerous ass shit like we didn't know the bus is gonna stop running after a certain time like so that bus um it would take you so fucking far i think to like inglewood or something like that and it would we had to catch the train or get on the bus but the train wouldn't be running the train would be like the next train run again at four in the morning or something like that so y'all one time we walked all the way down imperial not gonna say to where because just know we walked from Inglewood to LA because I ain't gonna say where exactly we walked to but yeah we walked from Inglewood all the way to LA and fucking three in the morning something like that man one time I came home at five in the morning I used to when I say I used to come home late night early fucking mornings 
y'all and i'm like thank god that my grandparents gave me a key i would sneak in the house so fucking quiet but y'all this was the crazy part that they front door had a different lock than the back door if the back door i, I could have just went in through the back door that'd be cool because my grandparents room was right by the front door the back door i could just go in through the back door and go to my room or go to the den like you know or go like however it didn't matter so i used to be really trying to open the door slowly like so one time y'all it's one time it was just it was this night too when we came home well this morning we get there at five in the morning we walking in y'all mind you this is not safe at all walking in the wee hours of the night three girls I, fucking skirts on cold as hell freezing because no i'm not bringing a jacket i know i'm going to club heat but i should because i know i'm gonna be walking home anyway so y'all crazy so i was coming in the house while my grandma was up just so happened why are you up at five in the morning and this is when the time was where the sun be up at this time so she up and i'm just like hey grandma and she was like you just now getting home and i was like no because we had seen uh, my cousin there but it was my cousin from it wasn't a real cousin it was like my mama's friend and we grew up i called her my cousin so i'm like no um i was with we was at my cousin's house and her mom just dropped us off because she was on her way to work and she was like oh, okay i didn't see your car i'm like yeah because she had to bust a u-turn to go to the freeway <laughs> like i'm just lying i'm quick with it i'll be quick on my feet and she was like oh okay so you're not just getting home i'm like uh-uh at this point i'm tired and it was like um sunday so that's yeah that's probably why she was getting up early because she had to go to church so she like you gonna come to church and i'll be like oh, not today grandma i'm gonna come next weekend because it's like i ain't even been asleep all night i ain't even trying to disrespect the lord by going to his house and being up in there falling asleep you know like so i'm, like, I'm gonna go next time grandma i'm so, i'm sorry like you know i ain't even got no church clothes you do because you come as you are I'm like girl i'm not coming like no in time i pulled a whole fucking all-nighter man that used to be crazy but yeah that's the end of that story if you ever been to any of those like clubs and shit like that teen clubs or if you know exactly what i'm talking about like with the jerk and air and stuff like that let me know in the comment section down below but yeah that was the story i had to just give y'all a quick little story about toxic um y'all it's gonna be more stories coming y'all already know i'm leaving saturday because y'all know halloween is sunday so i'm leaving saturday out of town i'm going to vegas y'all so i'm um i'm really trying to see i'm gonna try to do another story time before i go so this is gonna drop thursday so i'm gonna try to have one already recorded so i could just post it you know like post it probably that saturday or something like that but we'll see how life works out and it, it's gonna be another one about crazy because y'all been asking for another one about crazy and it's gonna be another one about him because your girl did some dumb shit dumb shit dumb shit not recently though don't not recently so don't don't be like girl sis you fell back into the hole no not recently but i had did some dumb shit when i should have just y'all see in the story hopefully y'all might get it saturday so stay tuned for that and anyway if you're still here and been here been rocking with your girl you already know what time it is and what to do if you haven't already done so make sure you subscribe to my channel give it a thumbs up and y'all go ahead and make my day in the comment sections down below thank you